Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the CEO, founder of this show, actually appeared in one of Tito's flashbacks on Rocket Power. A long time ago, I charged a big, thick wave with my tandem partner, a big, big woman named Serpent Sarah Ann. But I hope you beautiful people have had an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Jerry, mail time. Camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your boy is here. And today is going to be an incredible video and I already know it's going to be because we have three packages right here sent by amazing members of the Rep Pack that you guys already know by now. Don and T-Dog, aka Don the Whale. Their family is an amazing part of the Rep Pack. They've sent several packages in the past that you guys may have seen on this channel. Shout out to Don the Whale, shout out to T-Dog, and also shout out to a baby Don. We appreciate them so much but they sent three big boxes and they are like some of the most legendary collectors in this community for sure they are able to find some of the weirdest craziest stuff i've ever seen so i don't know what we're gonna get into here whatever it is i am extremely grateful and excited to check it out and they told me some of this stuff is for the nickmas tree Ooh. it's gonna be sitting underneath the nickmas tree this year so some of the stuff we're gonna open and if there's anything wrapped up in a christmas wrapping that's gonna be going under the nickmas tree and along with a lot of the packages that have been sent in this December they are going to be saved underneath the Nickmas tree for us to do a Christmas unboxing towards the end of this Nickmas without any further ado we're gonna hop into all these packages they sent these two packages first I can't wait to check out whatever we got going on here but this package was came later right before we were about to do this video we're gonna open up this one last without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this and again huge shout out to Don T-Dog and their family they are amazing again and I want you guys to show them some love in the comments down below because we absolutely could not in no shape or form be able to do this if it wasn't for them. So show them some love in the comments down below. They're amazing members of the Rep Pack that have been here for a long time too. They're people just like you who love all the same stuff that we love. So show them some love. And if you guys are ever interested in sending fan mail, the address is on screen. And as always, you never have to send anything big. It can just be as simple as a note, some fan art. We love it all. But anyway, let's get into it. All right, so where do we get started little, here? Little, little, hubla, hubla, hubla. Let's see if there's a note in here. Got it right here. So I'm not gonna look here. I'll give you a holla, holla, holla. In a second <laughs> holla, holla, holla. <laughs> All right, holla, holla, holla. Oh. Let's take a look here. Merry Christmas to Comfort Cartoons team. We appreciate you and hope you like the gifts. You guys are incredible and thank you so much. Merry Nickmas and Merry Nickmas to you as well. All right, so let's get it started here. So awesome, they have a little piece of cardboard here. That is really smart. Uh, yeah. To keep me from slicing through whatever is there. And off the gate, dude, they are, you know what I love about opening their packages is you can see how much they love watching the show and I appreciate it so much. Boom. Oh my Barnyard, gosh. Barnyard, the novelization of Barnyard. So we now have the complete novelization of Barnyard. I mentioned that Nickelodeon released this six pack of different Nickelodeon movies that you could pick up. Some of the biggest like the Eater released Nickelodeon movies. And I said that we had a novelization of all of them except for Barnyard. And I was like, I don't even know if they made a novelization of Barnyard. And sure enough, Don and T-Dog's Legends, they ended up finding one. Next up here we have the novelization of Ooh. Sponge Out of Water. An awesome one. So thank you so much for sending that in. Next up we have a present. This one's wrapped up so this will be going under the Nick mystery to Ooh. be sitting on the side. I do love the shape of it though. We have the mystery machine with some moose antlers on it. And then his shirt, he's got a, a shirt that says Elfie. Hashtag Elfie. Is he doing like a selfie pose or something or is he doing the L? I'm cool. not sure. Oh, but this one says for Mitch. So this for one's me. for you. So this is a present for Mitchell. Hey. We'll get to see him unbox that when we get closer to the end of Nick Miss when it comes Nick Miss time officially. Next up, this one says to Marcus and I have no hey. clue That's what sick. I know. I love the wrapping paper on it. I'm so interested in like the shape of it though. So we'll be opening that up when it gets closer to, uh, you know, the Nick Miss time here. But Ooh, it looks really cool. Yeah. I love the wrapping wrapping paper though. They always find the most awesome wrapping paper and they also put a little uh, a little bit of extra wrapping paper here too which I love. Okay and then oh. Oh. 
<laughs> we have Marcus, and it's covered in Jerry and Jerry. Uh, Beautiful. And Jerry wrapping paper. Where do you even find Jerry wrapping paper? But that is awesome. Thank you so much. So these will, again, these will all be saved to the side for us to open. We're going to be doing another fan mail video closer to Christmas time. We'll be opening all that stuff up as a Christmas packaging. And of course, these will be going with it. So this is just like a bonus on top of the video they already sent in. Looks like a block of cheese and Jerry's just chilling on it. <laughs> Another Jerry! <laughs> I, I don't know, but something tells me one of these might be a Jerry product of some kind. Yeah, probably the one you're holding. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I know that it takes time. I mean, as somebody who's not a good rapper... <laughs> Lyrically and... and, and <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Jerry, Jerry, I really don't carry. You kind of suck. In fact, I don't give a... Can't say that on YouTube. I don't give a chuck. <laughs> what do you mean? Those lyrics are freaking bars, dude. Burlington. <laughs> <laughs> That was probably the best one. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I'm not a very good present rapper either. So I know it takes a lot of time. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your guys' day to actually wrap these up. I don't want that to go unnoticed. So thank you so much. It's very sweet and I appreciate it. All right, next one up. This is for you too, Mitchell. Ooh, so we have another one is, here for Mitchell. I wonder if all the Scooby ones are mine. I know, I noticed they're both wrapped in Scooby Doo. <laughs> mine are all wrapped in Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. It's fitting. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we have another one here. So it looks like this one's gonna be all Christmas presents, I'm pretty sure here. Let's take a look. I just wanna say I do appreciate it though, Don. You don't have to send anything and you don't. <laughs> yes, you guys are amazing. Ooh. Okay, so this one seems like some kind of bottle. I'm not sure I can hear some kind of liquid in there, but we got the Jerry on that one. It almost looks like a big block of cheese. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, dude. Boom! Ooh, bubble gum? <laughs> You know what's wild, dude? Ryan bringing the waves of nostalgia. I had this, but I had no clue what was inside of it as a kid. Bubble I had gum. this exact same container, so I guess it's a cat dog bubble gum container here, but man, that is awesome. We do not have this. a lot of cat dog stuff in the collection, so an amazing one. In a cat dog toy, but my had a dog when I was a kid. It was just, She was named China after the WWE wrestler. She was a chihuahua and very, very fierce, so we thought the most the fitting name was a, a very dominant female wrestler. Yeah. Because <laughs> she would wrestle love out of you. So she had this as a toy. Because, you know, I wasn't collecting back then. I was, you know, good old four, five. Good old four? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how old, but, like, very young. So I never really, I didn't collect it, but she had this as a toy. And I never knew what was inside it. But apparently, at some point, I was chewing on some cherry berry bubble gum. Which is crazy how, like, you can remember the item. Or, like, for my sake, I remember the item. But I never remember sitting there chewing this bubble gum. It's weird how your memory for some things it holds and some things it's just like I cannot even remember an iota of chewing that bubble gum. But that is what was in there. That is so freaking cool. I love the little figure too that it comes with. Amazing and thank you guys so much. Man, I wonder what this is that okay. <laughs> Mitchell wants to open I'm one. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> I just want to put you... it on the record but I'm just I'm so curious. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we could open up one a little early because it seems like there's a lot in here. So let's take a look here. I'm going to just grab them all out. Dang. We have a Rugrats wrapped one to Mitchell too. Oh, I got a Rugrats one? Yeah. We have another one to Mitchell. <laughs> oh, dang, there what we the go. Heck? I appreciate it. <laughs> we have this one right here, the Jerry <laughs> one for myself. We have Ooh, this one right one. here. I love the packaging on them. They're all amazing. I'm just gonna go for it here. We have some Harry Potter wrapping ones too right Ooh, here. Is that for Maybe. This was for Karina. Oh, nice. So shout out to Karina. You guys know Karina. She's in a bunch of different videos with me on the channel. So this one's for Karina, and that is so sweet. You guys are amazing. I know she's gonna flip out about this. If I can uh, end up recording her reaction to opening it, I'll definitely do that <laughs> for you guys. So this one right here is for you, Mitchell. Ooh, I gotta love this wrapping paper. I know. Ooh, this one's interesting. It's a snow globe, I feel like. Maybe it's a snow Ooh, globe. Ooh, what it's the heck? like, what could be in there? I feel like it's gotta be a snow globe, right? If it's not, it's like maybe a ball with like a sand under it. I like that thought process. But I don't know what it could be. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have one more in this particular bag. So so this whole little setup here is gonna be going under the Nickmas tree. How about this? We both open just one. Just one. Just one. I'm gonna open up this one because I'm so interested in what this is. And then the rest of them we are gonna save for the holiday, the Nickmas day itself. Which one are you gonna pick? Ooh. 
I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna leave the, the more mysterious ones for later. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go first. Let's check it out and see what we got here. And again, thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Let's see what we have here. Oh! No oh my goodness, dude. You have no clue what this is yet. It just looks like a Nickelodeon item, so. It's a Nickelodeon Whoa. clock, but this is an employee only exclusive Nickelodeon clock. What the heck? Oh my gosh. You guys went too freaking crazy. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I was close. It is a ball in a stand. <laughs> <laughs> it is a ball in a stand. You're right. I thought it was going to be a snow globe. What could it have been besides a snow globe? An amazing Nickelodeon employee clock. Thank you so much. I've always wanted this too, because as soon as I saw the top of it, I was like, is it that? No, it can't be that. Is it that? Oh my God, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That is incredible. You, you guys are so generous and I appreciate it. All right, I'm excited to see what you got in your present right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm like, what could it be now? I'm so curious. All right, so Mitchell's taking the, uh, the, 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 helm. <laughs> yeah, the helm here. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, that is awesome, dude. dude little micro charms, that's so sick. That is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. It has like dude. some of the best villains. I'm kind of glad they left the gang out on this one. Yeah. It's Scooby <laughs> with some of the best, most classic villains. You have freaking yeah. Captain Cutler, Phantom Shadow, Creeper, and you also have Space, Space Ghost. <laughs> All right, so that's just a little taste. A little taste, a yeah. little sampler. I can't wait to see what you got inside of these. And I can't wait to open those up as well. So we'll uh, stay tuned for those. Make sure you guys subscribe, have bell notifications on, all that stuff. So we can check out what they sent inside these packages. All right, so we're opening this one up. Let's go ahead and check this out. So on top, Ooh. okay, I already see what? We have the Scooby-Doo Krispy Kreme. But Kreme's that one looks clean. Yeah, it's a clean Krispy Kreme box container. What the heck? How did you guys get this? It's like not even like used, like they didn't make it into a box. Yet. I'm gonna say either they stole it <laughs> <laughs> or New York's customer service is better than California's. Yeah, Cause they're like, no, we can't give you that. No, that's impossible. We'll give you an extra donut, which makes little sense cause you just ordered a whole case, but I'm still grateful. But we won't give you a box. <laughs> so we have one clean. This will for sure be going into the bowl just to preserve it in this shape. Cause this is amazing. I love this so much. <laughs> I really wanted one of these so bad too, so that is awesome. And of course, leave the Dawn and T-Dog to somehow get the backdoor treatment from freaking uh, Krispy Kreme and be able to get one of these guys. <laughs> Legends. So next up here, ooh, we have a Stimpy ooh. Magnet. That is so sweet. We have a classic Stimpy Magnet here. We've been needing some new magnets to add to the uh, filing cabinet yeah, in the back. A... From this back like this, I thought it was a state. Uh, yeah, I could see that, yeah. It kind of looks like New Mexico. <laughs> That's but sick. That is freaking amazing. So you have the Stimpy Magnet right there. I love it. Okay, next up. Oh, we have some more stuff for the Nickmas time. No way. Oh my I goodness. See. Ooh. That is amazing. We have the SpongeBob Ooh. stocking hanger with retractable hook. That is incredible. So it's a little thing that he stands up like you hang it on the wall, I'm assuming. Let's just open it. <laughs> Okay, so his foot did break in the transit, but that is okay. Uh, after doing this for so long, I have become a master glueman. So I'm pretty sure I can get that guy back together very easily. But man, it's just few and far between you get solid, like, SpongeBob items. You know, majority are usually gonna be plastic. He's got the freaking Santa hat on it. This is truly a rare and like, I've never even seen this before type of item. So it's got a retractable, so yeah, you pull this out and boom, now he can actually hold on to it. So you you can actually put this on a shelf, just kind of overlapping the shelf with the hook. Yeah, and then you just probably have to get like 3M or something so it doesn't fall off. Well, it's heavy enough to where you could do it without it, but there's no way we're doing that. No. <laughs> you know, we're gonna make sure that thing is secure. But look at him hanging out there with all the snowballs, just ready to start on a full on assault on Squidward. <laughs> So this is amazing. I'm gonna put it back in the box for right now to keep it safe, but expect to see that in the background here. Like I said, it, thankfully it broke in a way to where it's one piece here. So that'll be easy, no worries at all. Let's see what we got here next. Oh my goodness, we have the WWE Whoa. coming out of the ring with the freaking suplex slam. We have the sponge hammer. There he goes. Yeah! <laughs> that is amazing. His wrestling name is The Absorber.
<laughs> there he is. He is amazing. And it also has, this is during the Happy Squared promotion. It still has the Happy Squared promo peel off right here. There still is a chance that somebody could have won one of those sweet stick items with this right here. Okay, next up out of here. Okay, we have a little letter here, so let's take a look. Hope you enjoy these items we put together for you. Absolutely. Freaking of course. I'm so grateful for anything that ever comes in the mail, whatever it is. I feel so lucky to be able to have this job where I get to go out and hunt for awesome stuff. And I have the amazing rep pack that's got my back. And you guys are amazing supporters being on Patreon. But not just that, you guys always send some incredible stuff for us to add to the archive here. So thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you guys know. From the bottom of my heart thank you guys i really consider all of you guys just gifts to the world especially to my world so thank you so much all right next up here what do we got Ooh, we have two advent calendars Ooh. so we have these spongebob oh and a That's tmnt one. one oh my gosh so this one i'm gonna keep it sealed i'm gonna show you why i'll be right back so for the channel we were gonna open up these advent calendar days throughout nickmas because they haven't released any besides krabby patty advent calendars i wish they would do some kind of figure your set like some of the other companies do but they do the chocolates but I opened up one just to kind of do a little taste tester here you know and I thought like oh maybe they're all gonna be Spongebob characters but you pop them out and they're just kind of like generic uh, Christmas stuff like here's a, a boot or an ice skate they have nothing to do with Spongebob at all huh yeah, they're still really cool and they, they taste pretty damn good But I think that they're better just to keep it sealed because I only had one and now I don't have one sealed But now I have one sealed for the display ability. So thank you guys so much don't lose your truck with Damn <laughs> And then the TMNT one same thing. I'd rather just keep this guy sealed amazing artwork and good for the holiday season Just for the display factor of it. So awesome. Thank you so much for sending those in. What else do we got here? Ooh we have a Cosmo and Wanda to the brush. That's what? so sick. What in the world? Coming out of their fishbowl, what the heck? That is so sweet by Colgate. Okay, what else do we got here? Let's take a look. Ooh, this is sweet. What the heck? We have Hey Arnold here on a container. I don't remember where this is from, but I think I had one of these as a kid too. 1997. You got Hey Arnold hanging out on the inner tube there with the old school Nickelodeon splat right there. And then look, you even have Craig Bartlett's signature down there in the bottom. That is super freaking clean, dude. And it looks like a container for like a donut or something. <laughs> yeah, something. <laughs> but that is definitely gonna get displayed because we don't have like, again, Hey Arnold is like few and far between merchandise. We got a couple items over here, but man, that thing looks dope. I love it so much. Di da da li da da li da, di da da li da da li da, di da da. What? Oh, yes. No way. <laughs> Finally, we have the SpongeBob movie on VHS. <laughs> ah, I feel like I'm with the pirates. <laughs> the SpongeBob movie. That is incredible. That is an, I am going to be watching this tonight. <laughs> I've never seen this movie on VHS. I've seen it on DVD. I've seen it in Blu-ray. I've seen it in theaters. Twice, but I've never seen it on VHS. That's gotta happen. I've even read the book. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen the VHS version of it though. And man, that is like my preferred method of viewing like nostalgic stuff. If you guys don't have a VHS player, I mean, you can get them at freaking thrift stores, freaking garage sales for like dirt cheap. Same thing for the TVs. People are giving them away, CRT TVs. If you watch it on VHS, it's just such a different vibe from watching it on DVD. The sound of the machine, the fact it's a little bit more hard to you know, fast forward, rewind. Wine. It's not a lot harder, but it's a little bit but just for some reason you end up letting it play more often So it feels more like a movie experience. Oh, man, the movie itself triumphs Shout out to Don and T-Dog. That is incredible, dude. I'm trying I gotta go find the, the regular movie now Okay, so immediately the covers here are the same But if you flip it to the back, there is some differences small ones But the special features here you have plankton coming out of the special features kind of like stealing But on this one over here, you actually have plankton in the classic bubble floating up because you know of course on VHS you don't get the special features but you know you get straight into the movie that's why DVD took it over 
You know, it has special features, a bunch of other bonus stuff that you can get on there. DVD is amazing, of course, but nothing beats the classics. So right here, having the VHS and seeing the artwork differences is my first time being able to check out those differences. Amazing. I will say the VHS has a lot more going on in the back. Like on the background, it had like all these bubbles, bubbles and all this other stuff, yeah. Yeah, the side profile of the movie, you get to see everything a little bigger. That's what I think is awesome. Like all the definition of the side, there's a little bit bigger. The top has something too. Both sides, yeah, and the top is different too. You don't even have a top on a DVD. That is incredible. Yeah, I've always wanted this movie on VHS, so thank you so much. Next up, let's see what we have here. We have a Jimmy Ooh. Neutron Clockers. So I'm not even sure what this is, but it says scientifically proven to stick. Totally magnetic. So it's Jimmy Neutron there, and it looks like, oh, look at behind him, it's a big giant flaming JN. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. That's sick, what the heck? <laughs> what a beast, man. <laughs> There's some other ones too. There's also a hovercraft version of it as well, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's a keychain, but it also doubles as a magnet. So it's a mini magnetic clock. So, you know, obviously the batteries over time have gone dead on it, but it would typically have the time right there, and you could put it on your locker, you could put it in your car, it says stick to your fridge or even your rocket ship, you know, because at least one kid in every area has a Jimmy Neutron has a rocket ship, you know? I mean, look, Phineas and Ferb had one. Sandy's got one. Every neighborhood's got one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mitchell had one when we were younger. I don't know what he did with it. Or maybe he used it in the Mitchell we have now. Is not the same one that we had once then. I don't know what alien language it is, but I feel like it's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you'd be jailed wherever you're from. All right, but anyway, we have the Jimmy Neutron clock there. Amazing. Okay, this is a big box here. What do we got here, Whoa, man? Whoa, oh. it's even got a logo on it. SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Bubble Ball figure. Wait a minute, dude. Oh my gosh, I think this might be the big bubble. Remember we got the big bubble Squidward on screen here? Yeah, that thing was sick. I think this might be the Mr. Krabs version. So we're gonna have to get the other two. We're gonna have to get the SpongeBob and the, also the Patrick, if this is what I think it is. Yes! Oh. <laughs> it is the Bubble Ball. Dang. Mr. Krabs. That is beautiful. B A U D full. His box is way taller than Mr. Squidward's. So it's like they're different. Oh, because it's obviously his eye sockets. That's sick. The details, dude. The details are incredible. I've got to open them up and take a closer look. So all of these are designs, guys. They're supposed to be kind of like if they swallowed one of SpongeBob's bubbles. So, you know, SpongeBob has inflated, you know, himself quite a few times. But if one of the other characters were to get one of SpongeBob bubbles inside of them, you can see them in the back yeah. here. It's kind of in that same bubble shape. You know, you can kind of see them yeah. <laughs> floating up just like that. But man, the detail. This is again from Nick Asia. We never get anything quite this detailed here in America. Like every little like crevice from like his like body basically freaking expanding as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, and it just looks like straight like they grabbed him out of the show and plopped him on the ground. You know, he looks like sponge out of water. Mr. Krabs level details. That is amazing. Even like his belt loops. You know, you know in America that would just be like one flat color. You can even see the divots of each loop as the belt's going through the belt loop. Incredible. Yeah. Well, now we have to get SpongeBob and also Patrick because now we have the Squidward and we have Mr. Krabs. Yeah, that's just gonna happen. How could it not happen? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so we have another stocking hanger. This is a Rugrats Ooh. one. That is so sweet. Oh, they're so, sweet. They're so precious. You have the Rugrats. You have Tommy and Chucky right underneath the Christmas tree waiting for the morning so they can open their presents. That is adorable. And the candy cane hook for it as well. Let's hope that this guy came in in good shape. I'm sure it did, but let's take a look. So there we oh have it. God. Tommy and Chucky. With their cookies and milk for sale. They are so freaking sweet, dude. I, I That warms my heart. And the little cookie says for Santa, too. And it's got the Christmas tree there, presents, which is like kind of have like a, a even the presents have a Rugrats vibe, like the patterns on them. Oh, yeah, the purple and green, and then like the yellow speckles. Yeah, and Tucky's got his bear. So freaking like adorable. Sleeping on the rug. <laughs> yeah, it's so adorable. I'm in love with it. So this guy will definitely be going up on the shelf over here. Maybe be over there by our plushies. It'll just be kind of hanging off, but we're not gonna hang anything on there heavy at all. Like we probably will just hang like a, a small ornament or something on it, but that is gonna definitely have to stay just without a, a hanger on it because I don't want this to ever fall. This is so freaking fragile, but also beautiful. 
literally my childhood dude it's so sweet seeing them like you know because that was me like i was always so excited for christmas i couldn't even sleep though like i would be so pumped for christmas the next day then like i would be like up all night just thinking about like what could be in those presents what time i was gonna have with my family you know like anything that had to do with christmas and then even younger than that thinking about like the fact that there's just some guy in my house possibly right now you know <laughs> eating my cookies you know it's like i'm not allowed to go down there and look dang do i want to and the anticipation is just is just killer so it's so cool to see them like so ready they're sleeping by the bed that is amazing all right and then next up here what do we have we have some tmnt booster packs what the heck 120 cards to collect yeah by panini and there's one in four packs you have the special cards and then one in 12 packs of the ultimate cards so you have two there oh wait there's another stack of them here we have a whole stack of packs we have ben 10 layman cards. cards and we have some more of the turtle power tmnt panini cards so let's go ahead i gotta open one of these packs up all right money mitch here oh. let's see if he can get us a an ultimate card here. We can only open one to see if you can pull us an ultimate. An ultimate? Yeah, it's one of the 12 packs. Kind of feeling this one. Okay, okay, so let's see it. Let's check it out. We're only gonna open up this one pack. I don't know the other one's sealed for now. I don't know what an ultimate card's supposed to look like. Me either. Oh, dude, so you have freaking Raphael right there, plus two. So I'm assuming there's some kind of, you know, playability to these as well. We have the crew right there. It's like almost a hollow, but not a hollow. I don't know, yeah. Oh yeah, it's kind of got like a texture to the back there, yeah. We'll take a look at the backs of them. Maybe they'll say something. We have Fong right there. This is from the, the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles, of course. We have Snake. And then finally, we have the Rat, the Rat King. So let's take a look here. They all kind of have like a texture to them that kind of gives them not like hollow, but like a 3D look to them. But I don't know what an ultimate would look like. Let's open one more. We have the Krang Droid here. We have Hamato Yoshi. We have Raph there. We have Raph with size. And then we also have <laughs> Carlos Chango Brian. Ryan Carlos? Gamby. It's a long name. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> I don't know if we got an ultimate or not. They all look sick though, but I just don't know what an ultimate would label it as. You know what I mean? We're going to keep these ones sealed for right now, but I mean, I think all the artworks are incredible on these. Like just beautiful art on all the cards. Either way, awesome set there. So you have five packs more. If we can find some more, maybe we can open up some more of these. I don't necessarily, maybe we can do even a little video on if you guys would want to see that. And then we have two packs of the Ben 10 layman cards. I say we open up one. Let's do it. So we keep one pack sealed for the collection. We have one here. Let's check it out. So layman cards last time were like translucent. Ooh, and so they what are. do we have? Whoa! Oh! My favorite alien. We have the holographic accelerate card. That thing is blinding. <laughs> <laughs> Literally my favorite character. All of the Ben's aliens. So that is incredible. We have accelerate for the hollow. We gotta sleeve that guy up. We like micro Ben 10 here. I love the translucent look on these cards. I can't remember. Is that Kevin? It might be Kevin. I'm not, I don't think that's Kevin though. He kind of looks like the um senior, senior, junior from Kim Possible. Yeah, true. <laughs> we have these twins and then we all also have this like translucent cube here. I mean, just an awesome set there. I'm mostly hyped on the accelerate card though. That, <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, next up here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. SpongeBob what? Gold. SpongeBob Gold, the golden SpongeBob skin. Are you joking me? That is amazing. So this is during a line they released to us called SpongeBob Gold. I know we have the notebook from this line. And there is like, I think like in Germany, I've seen like, or Germany or like France, like a golden SpongeBob statue. If Ryan can find it, it'll pop it up on screen. I never knew if that one was like legit or not, but I mean, it looked legit enough, but I've never seen another product from this line. It's like a really specific line they released. I don't know how many products they did for it, but we have the SpongeBob Gold pin there. Now that one, I don't think we can put on the pin board. No. That's just gotta go straight up in the gold section. That is amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, I think we just found a new crowning piece in the gold section actually. A crowning piece? Limited edition golden SpongeBob plushie. And it says Denmark, so it's in Denmark. Ooh. So we have the golden SpongeBob plushie here, limited edition. Oh, and it's a part of the Think Happies. Yeah, 10,000 stuck. Whatever that is. Something in piece, probably pieces in German. So we have the golden SpongeBob right here. I love that limited edition golden text there by the Simba company with a literal golden SpongeBob plushie, dude. That is unbelievable. <laughs> so weird, it's like, oh yeah, this is yellow label, but it's like black label. <laughs> 
Black Label. <laughs> SpongeBob Black Label collection. That is wild. You gotta find a space for it. Like, maybe it'll have to just be on a shelf because I don't know if it'll fit back there in the gold section. But dang, he is freaking clean. We've been needing to upgrade the gold section to a new space anyway, though. Incredible, man. They, again, always find some unbelievable stuff. Like, I, I, I've i seen this plushie before, but only in images. Only in images. Yeah, so to find it physically now, here is unreal. It's really just unbelievable. Next up here, we have a SpongeBob ornament. Oh, they found it. No they found way. the ornament to go with the prototype. What the heck? Did you guys know you found that or is that coincidence? There's no way they didn't know. Yes, they had to have. So this is the SpongeBob green and white label SpongeBob ornament. It has a Nick knowledge on the back. Go ahead and zoom in on that, Mitchell. You might be able to learn something new here. It's like they really just wanted you to know this. <laughs> This fact that's not even but in like one episode. <laughs> I love that fact so much. <laughs> so much. This is a, there's like a counter for so many things on this channel. We need like how many products have had this exact Nick knowledge? <laughs> right now on screen, you guys will see our SpongeBob green label merch. If you guys want to pick that up, the link will be down below for Team Spring. What if for our next design, we just make it SpongeBob's doormat that says Ahoy? <laughs> <laughs> And I was just like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> On the back, just did you know? <laughs> if you guys want to see SpongeBob Ahoy merch, and that's something you want to pick up, let us know. I don't think it'd be that hard for us to make that happen. <laughs> but of course, that'd be a very like <laughs> random thing, short-term thing. <laughs> that is amazing though. So this ornament they picked up here, this is sealed from the green and white label. But we have a little fan mail collaboration happening here because we had this one sent in by Cody in 2023 as well. And this is the prototype to this particular ornament. So now we get to see the prototype That's along with the final product. So now we have both of them here in the collection. And me and Mitchell did do some research and we didn't see it come up. I mean, obviously we were only able to look for like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour while we were filming that video, but I didn't know where or when it came out. So now that we have one here in the collection, that is amazing. So that way we can have both of them here in the setup. And I'll probably be using this one to find myself one more. And I'll probably get the box and put this guy inside the box so we can have them side by side. That'd be sick. Yeah, so I'll use the same packaging to put him inside of there. This one I'm gonna keep sealed just like this. But now that I have one, I can look after it and try to find another one so that way I can keep this one in the package so that we can keep it protected and they'll look really sweet right by each other. Amazing. And again, another note that just shows you how often and how amazing they are a part of the rep pack. They watch every video and we love them so much for that. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's keep going here. What do we got next? We have, ooh, we have the Nicktoons Twister 3D. That is a throwback, man. This is what you call a big box PC game. So a lot of people don't know about these but these are called big box pc games so i've been collecting them for a little bit now but this one right here this is the nick kart racing one so most people see this version of it which is just a disc for pc games when they first came out back in the late 90s early 2000s they came out with these big box variations so that way when they put them on the shelf they kind of had a little bit more stature people could find them easier and get people's interest kind of like a movie billboard or a, a poster but they're significantly harder to find in the box like this because of course, it's cardboard and easier to break down. So I have this game, but I don't have it in this box version. So this is the big box version right here, sealed from Scholastics. And you can see on the back here, you're able to actually kind of make your own Nickelodeon cartoons in this game using the pieces from other ones. So you can put like Mr. Krabs on the beach with Jimmy. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. So we'll put a video on screen of somebody's like online made um, Nicktoon Twister cartoon. And you guys can check it out. And you can record your own voice as well too create your own titles, credits, email them to your friends with over 19 characters, 40 backgrounds, and 50 props. Like that's like a YouTube starter kit. <laughs> Amazing. All right, then the next one up, what do we got here? Another VHS. Ooh. Whoa. The Nicktoons Nick Extravaganza here. So I have this on DVD, but I do not have this on VHS. This is a first in the collection. Incredible, man. This is a perfect one to throw on. I always say my favorite Nickelodeon DVDs are the ones that are specials because you know it makes it more unique than just watching them like in a straight go ahead through the seasons which is awesome too if you're just trying to complete it but the compilations are perfect for people that have already seen all the episodes you can throw those on it kind of gives you a mix and you don't know what you're gonna see and this one's like a 
double on top of that because it gives you a full mix of Nickelodeon shows and on VHS. So you get to see SpongeBob, Chalk Zone, Rocket Power, and Fairly Odd Parents all on one VHS. You can't beat that, man. So an amazing one. That one's got the black VHS on there, so they do mix it up depending on what you know what series or which VHS it is. It's interesting because it's like ex exclusively a Nickelodeon thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's like a certain year point. I think it's somewhere around 2002, 2003. They kind of went to just doing black because at some point, I think DVD started to become a thing and they're like, okay, this is already something that we're starting to not do that much. All right, next up, what do we have here? Oh, what the oh, heck? now that is amazing. I didn't even know this was on VHS. We have the wedding frame as told by Ginger on VHS. This is, like I said, this particular DVD and VHS as told by Ginger eventually did get aired with its finale on Nickelodeon and also Teen Nick and the Splat. But when the show was airing, the show was taken off the air before the finale happened, but they did release the DVD for the finale at some locations and I guess I guess they released a VHS too. I had no clue that they made a VHS version of this. A one hour feature, wow. That is incredible. It's something I would have literally never have probably freaking stumbled upon or even like thought to look for because I just didn't even know it existed. Thank you guys so much. Okay, the next up here we have the Friends Variety Pack. What heck? So this is like a real early, early tape here because you can see it's got Rugrats, Rin and Stimpy, Doug, which is the first three and then right after that, you got Rocco. And then another earlier one with the Melissa Joan Hart, you got Clarissa Explains. Another one. I will probably, they got me so many things to watch. I can't watch them all today, but I will be watching them all very soon here. And they have some other ones as well too. You can see on the back here for Are You Afraid of the Dark? They have one for Guts. Double Dares here. We have Pete and Pete and also Ren and Stimpy up here as well for their own their own solo one here. Them holding their own VHS and an infinite loop. That's cool. <laughs> really dope. Okay. Okay, ooh, and we have a new item in the food category. They got a little chocolate bar. Yeah, so it's, this is actually something you can get, I believe, at Nickelodeon Universe, which we have not gone to yet. We're still 20K away from that happening, but ooh. we have the white chocolatey pineapple bar with pineapple bits chocolate bar. Universal Studios. Yeah, oh, so Universal Studios? Oh, you know what, it's not. It's SpongeBob store pants. So the SpongeBob store pants in Florida, you can actually pick this up. That's sick. That's where it is. And it's still edible until 2024. Do I eat it or do I keep it? No, I think we gotta keep that. Ah, I wanna eat it. But I agree we should keep it. White chocolate's just so good. I know. It's so transformative. You can put whatever dang fruit you want in white chocolate and it's gonna be delicious. Raisins, <laughs> strawberries, cherries, peppermints. Bananas. The peppermint is not a fruit. Peppermint is kind of a fruit if you think about it. It grows off of peppermint cane plants. <laughs> that is amazing though. And of course, that'll be going inside inside of our food archive because it's a little bit more temperature controlled inside of there. So we'll have that guy inside. All right, so this one right here, dude, I can see it a little bit and this is gonna be amazing. Are you ready? Uh, okay, I'm ready. This is the, what the Nickelodeon heck? Collector Series postcard booklet. I already know what it is without even opening it because I'm familiar with it. This is the postcard booklet. So, oh, there you have them. You have Steven Hillenberg right here, the legend on screen right there. I was looking for them, but these are all the different show creators for many different shows that all of us have grown up with here. We have a classy Supo there. We have those who should not be named. We have a few that are on there. You know, one of these is like the Voldemort of Nickelodeon, so we're not gonna talk about it. But, <laughs> but there's some amazing ones on there. And this is number 377 out of 1,000. Pencil ridden because they only made 1,000 of these, dude. That's incredible. And it's filled with different Nickelodeon postcards inside of there. And all of these are different from the Nickelodeon postcards that we opened up on the show before, the employee only ones. So I don't want to you know, do too much damage trying to open it up here, but we can open up the first couple pages here. Oh, oh. man. So there here we have one of the um, storyboard images for SpongeBob right there made into a postcard. That's and so cool. We'll just go through them and check them out. We have a... That's Ren, I think, no? Yep, that's Ren right there getting his mouth opened up there. We have SpongeBob. Sponge Oh, that is so cool. We have the Sponge Boy name card right there. If you're getting or buying a, a one out of 10 collector series from 2013, you know the deep cut. So it has Sponge Boy there. We have the Clef the Boy Chin Wonder image right there, straight to the comic book there. Oh, we have Momo. Momo. 
We got cat scratch. Wow. Some early images of cat scratch there. Getting scratched out quite literally. Danny. Yeah, man. So these images, you know, I mean, I'm not sure if anybody's ever video done all the images from this book here. Of course, eventually we'll have to cover this in the archive, which right now is a little bit on hiatus because we've just been so busy this holiday season, but we'll be back to filming those soon, so I'll have to go through with this thing. Dead bread. That's <laughs> the the best <laughs> thing since sliced bread. We also have a fanboy and chum chum. We have this cool photo here, all real monsters. Cat dog. I'm just going to show all the images here. That's I mean, definitely Ren and Stimpy. Just too cool, man. Wow. Jimmy Neutron. Ooh. Oh. Planet Sheen. Early on, parents. That's like the intro. Quite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. That, that Ren has been decimated. <laughs> I need that as a shirt or a hoodie. I need it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Go on one little taste. Got El to the El Tigre Fanny right there, the whole the whole Rivera family. Squid on strike. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, opening card right there for Squid on Strike, the episode. That's so cool. Zim, and then finishes up right there. So there is the whole book right there. The Collector's Archive. That is an incredible piece right there. So thank you so much. We will definitely be adding this into our book collection here. And that'll probably be one that goes on display on the top of the shelves. Because that is just so freaking clean. I love it. Thank you so much. And I think there's a couple little small items and one more big item here. So we have some Pogs, some Toys R Us Pogs. We have the Nickelodeon Toy Factory, which this is the Nickelodeon Toy Factory they had at Toys R Us for a period of time. So this is from that promotion. And these are Pogs for that. And we also have a Ren and Stimpy Happy Happy Joy Joy Pog there. As here, we have a SpongeBob Christmas stocking. Oh and yeah. <laughs> It's the rainbow one. It's like a meme it's, edition, yeah. It's the meme edition rainbow stocking. So that is amazing. And of course, that'll be hung up here today as <laughs> well. Just amazing as always. Don and T-Dog, thank you guys so much. You guys are so sweet as always. And we still have one more box to go through. But I just want to say thank you guys so much. Just, you know, we're honored to have them a part of the community. You get to make so many people happy as well, including me, Mitchell. I know Karina's already hyped. And the rep pack as well. Just a hard working amazing family like I said honored to have you guys in the collection so thank you and we have one more box here so let's check it out oh this one's really heavy so this one just came recently so they sent those two packages out and then this one came in right before we are about to film this so I'm so glad that we got to it right in time let's take a look and see what we have here I mean, besides the Jerry wrapping I haven't seen no Jerry's popping out Jerry wrapping paper as soon as you said what? that popping out quite literally popping out <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We have the Jerry wrapping paper. Heck yeah, you got some more now. Let me see if I see a note real quick first off. So the note says, we put up our tree and had some doubles of ornaments we thought you may like along with some other things. I hope you enjoy and also hope everyone in the rep pack has a fantastic holiday. Love, Don, Taylor, and baby Don. Well, I hope you and your family have an amazing holiday as well. You guys deserve it. And I know the Rat Pack appreciates that as well. So let's check out what they sit and let's see what doubles they have because we're definitely gonna be doing another. You guys, so many of you guys sent me emails, links to bigger Christmas trees. So next year, since this one lost the legs anyway, next Nickmas, we're gonna be getting a bigger orange Christmas tree for not just more ornaments, but I'm gonna be doing Christmas hunting all year because this was so much fun decorating for Christmas. I'm gonna be trying to find some newer Christmas items to add into the background here as well too. But we have some right here that we're gonna be able to add as well. So thank you guys so much. And you know what? We'll have to do some kind of retirement for this Nickmas tree. I don't know what we'll do. Some kind of kind of like I don't know Nick Nickmas burial of some guy because I love that tree. He may have been small in stature but big in love and big in Christmas cheer. But I do think it's time for an upgrade on a bigger Nickmas tree. And I lost the legs to that one. You know so. <laughs> we made it work this year, but we might not be able to make it work next year. All right, so first off here, we have some bags. We probably should start bringing more than one bag for yeah, our hunt videos. For real. So we have right here Ooh. the Stay Positive. We just put, I literally just put the freaking artwork for this up in my bathroom. This is sick. It's a big size bag that's too. A, yeah, that's a jumbo bag. Yeah, so we have a giant one. I'm gonna keep it together for right now. But the last time we, we just did a thrift video recently and we even got too much stuff for our Nickelodeon bag. So now we have some extra bags we're gonna probably just bring a bunch of the 
these so we can fill them all up so we don't need to ask for bags and then not just that we have a spongebob one here that is jumbo Ooh. size as well too so amazing we'll definitely be having a use these ones for sure so thank you so much on those this is wild we have a literal star of oh, patrick star what the heck <laughs> he is literally star shaped <laughs> that is awesome i wonder if you'd fit on the tree and it says carelessness causes fire why did you set me on fire spongebob and he might fit on the tree but our tree is on its last leg literally, literally. so i don't think that kind of weight would, would be able to handle it <laughs> but that is so cool i've never seen one this shape before i'm here for it's it. like of all the time that patrick's been around i feel like there's never been a star like an actual star of him like this as a plushie it's surprisingly not yeah oh my gosh dude you're not gonna believe mitchell's gonna flip when he sees this uh-oh because me and mitchell have been looking for this for weeks boom what the heck <laughs> The SpongeBob bobblehead. So somebody on our Patreon Discord actually posted this bobblehead that they found it. I think it was Prismatic Phantom, who's a member of Patreon too. Shout out to her. She posted finding this, I believe, at TJ Maxx. I need this. <laughs> Me and Mitchell went to every TJ Maxx in our area, for sure, and none of them had it. But Don and T-Dog is always, literally, like some of the most freaking amazing freaking rep pack hunters ever. They found the bobblehead SpongeBob. So this guy, oh, I, 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 I refuse to leave it in the box. We are going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a spring on the bottom that actually allows him to bounce That's and dance. That's so cool. <laughs> so he's there jamming to Patrick Star song while bouncing around here. I love that he's on the flower. <laughs> I know he's on a bikini bottom flower as well. Like I was saying though, it's very few and far between that you get huge just stature items like this that are big solid pieces that display so well. I mean, it might be something you can put in your car, but I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and this was made by culture fly so a big ups to culture fly always for just making this stuff still a thing you know but bigger ups to don and t-dog for sending this one in we never found it we probably would have never found it by this point it probably would have been sold out everywhere so thank you so much for sending that guy in this guy will be going back over here with some of the other spongebob bobblers we have i think this might be my favorite one though i love the spring aspect to him <laughs> he is so cute oh my gosh this is a great ornament dude a giant Giant SpongeBob candy cane from 2012. Green apple. That sounds like it tastes what delicious. The heck? Yeah, that's better than what the, the ones we get now. <laughs> yeah. One third of this is a serving size. That's how big that candy <laughs> cane is. You have, to, you have to eat this thing in three separate servings. <laughs> that is incredible. That is an awesome piece of food merch for sure. Next up here, we have some shot glasses here for the Ooh. shot glass collection. We don't have these guys. These look like maybe 2023. Yeah, so 2023 image is here of spongebob there the shot glass set that's a brand new shot glass set i mean we have a bunch of these shot glasses eventually you know when we have more space i'd like to just kind of stack them up in a little towers you know because they always come out in these four packs i think yeah there's at least five or six of them i really love this rainbow one in specific though i love that one so much Okay, and then it looks like we have some ornaments here. So we'll go through these. So next up we have a wooden SpongeBob ornament. This Ooh. is wild. It's by Primark. And I don't know where this, it's like, looks like it's almost been like, handmade but it's 2023 as well so a brand new ornament there spongebob and patrick that one's definitely going to be one of the ones we hang over here like this you know just that, to fit in that little spot yeah yeah that'll be perfect and then we have a bunch of other ones here let's get them out so we have the angelica here with the tag here still on it we have reptar eating a bowl of reptar cereal That's sick. <laughs> what the heck? we have chucky eating the reptar bar as well so next up ooh, i just just talked about these when we did the Christmas tree. We had some Jimmy ornaments, but I think it broke or they got lost somewhere. But now we have two new hey. Jimmy Neutron ornaments to go on the tree. And these for sure will be going up this year, right now, today, after we're done filming this, I'll be adding <laughs> these onto the tree. We have Jimmy ice skating there and Jimmy with Goddard. They have to be represented on the Nickmas tree. And then this one in the box sealed, we have Eliza, Donnie, and and also Darwin sledding right here in the collection. I have this one, but I don't have it in the box here, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. That one is amazing. It has the actual packaging on it, which I love about the Hallmark ornaments, is it actually has a little description on the back there. 
<laughs> it's just so cool because then it adds a little like you know a moment you can kind of imagine with the ornament too so cute oh my goodness dude this is wild they are like blowing up the nickelodeon pc big box collection right here we have nick tunes whoa <laughs> this is the Nickelodeon karaoke game. Yes, yeah, so you have a Nickelodeon karaoke game where you just sing classic songs with a unique spin with a Nickelodeon microphone, dude. That is sick. <laughs> Take a look at that close up. That is a beautiful packaging, man. Become the next hot recording star. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the music biz. It's the hottest, most happening business in the world. Now, you can be a part of it. Cut music tracks with the Nicktoons gang. Grab your Nicktoons mic and jam like a jellyfish. Wow, well, wow, well, look at who's here. Hi, welcome to the studio. It's time to get down to work, baby. That is sweet. That is really cool. So thank you so much. That's another classic here to archive into the collection. So next up, it looks like we have some ephemera in here. So right here we have a sweepstakes card. So this is the Ooh. Mick World here. I love ephemera and I'm getting really into collecting some of this paperwork stuff. As we're doing the filing, we should have you a filing video part two coming out soon here. So we have this one right here, which is an all real monster sweepstake image right there for you guys for Mick World. That is wild. We'll do it for you guys. I don't know if it'll work on the phone or on the PC, wherever you're watching this, but you have to put it close to your nose and like move it and kind of look at it really closely. Look at it really closely. Like try to let your eyes relax and focus on it until it looks like it's starting to become a blur and hold it on there until the impression gets on your eyes and then slowly move your phone or your screen away from you and then it should pop up with a ghost holding out his hands, kind of doing a woo. So that is a really cool piece that I can't wait to add to our files. That one I love. My eyes kind of hurt, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up here we have the Rugrats in Paris. Oh, this is the strategy guide. So <laughs> the strategy guide for the video game. That's cool. That is like a, a niche of, of Nickelodeon collecting that I have completely uh, neglected. I kind of forgot that, that a lot of the Nickelodeon video games would then also have strategy guides, right? Like, yeah, because like, oh, we have Pokemon strategy guides. Collected a lot of them, but yeah, never thought of a Nickelodeon. No. It's such an extension onto an extension. Like you think, okay, Nickelodeon already an extension is collecting video games, and then an extension on top of that would be collecting the guidebook. That is crazy. So we have the Rugrats guidebook there for the Rugrats the movie game, which I imagine the game it couldn't be that hard already. But <laughs> if you're having any trouble, you can use it right here. All right, so that is really unique. I love it. Next up here we have Bottoms Ooh. Up jokes from Bikini Bottom. Oh, another no. another joke book that we don't have in the collection to add to our list of Bikini Bottom jokes Showing by David one. Lumen. One bad one. Here it comes. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. So this is actually kind of a story. So it is jokes, but it's kind of done in a more unique style where you kind of flip open uh, different pop-up images in the book. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. What's the first thing students learn at a boating school? Floor it. A, B, C. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Even Mrs. Puff. Look at her. <laughs> there she goes. What a big fat meanie. Oh man. We have the Rugrats, Ultimate Rugrats Ooh. fan book. We do have this one in the collection, but I believe this one might be a little bit cleaner than ours. And this just goes over, yeah, the entire like, you know, history and kind of the process of making the Rugrats television show. Sick. Sick, Mitchell said. Sick. Sick, Sick on Nick. <laughs> Just tune in for Snake. We have Picture Perfect Tommy. What is this? This is like that, that game you play with your therapist. I don't know if you play it, but I do with mine. <laughs> what does the image look like to you? You guys in the comments, let us know. What does that image look like to you, Tommy's painting? To me, it looks like a butterfly. Well, I was thinking like a sun or an orange or something with shrimp on it. <laughs> <laughs> orange with shrimp. <laughs> You're talking about what you're talking about. Too much Chinese food, man. <laughs> Orange chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this guy, he works at this art studio. He looks just like Tommy's grandpa, but just like shorter hair and a suit. Oh yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> we have Teen Titans Go to Camp. Huh. Ooh, it's a comic book too. I gotta love that. Mmm, another wonderful smell. Books. <sighs> Paper. Yeah. Next up here we have the quest for the Holy Pail. <laughs> Not the Holy Grail, the Holy Pail. <laughs> We're a fan of another Holy Pail over here. 
<laughs> Next up we have Stormy Weather here, which is the new one as well to the collection here. On our quest to get a thousand Nickelodeon books at least. That's like one of the first times I've seen Angelica be nice. Is that the Blue's Clues chair? Except for there's no backing, yeah. Yeah, the Blue's Clues like couch, I guess. Are they in the Simpsons? <laughs> no, it's just the, they have 90s light bulbs where everything's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything in here just make me want to throw up? Oh, it's the 90s. <laughs> and the light bulbs are all yellow. Ooh. Now this is really unique and I've never seen this in my life. This is truly incredible. The unauthorized guide to Rugrat collectibles. That is unbelievable. With, With price, price guide. Price. That's crazy. What the heck? Wow. So it literally has like freaking thousands possibly of images that you can collect. I mean, let's just try to land some of the ones we have here. You can see right here, we have the Tommy and Chucky riding on the spike. We have that in the back of the room right here. Literally right there. Yeah, and she had it priced for $20 to $30, which is, it goes for a little more than that now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, rug ride stuff, you know, we collect this stuff because we love it. Some stuff is expensive, but some stuff it does not, but I, I really don't care. Like everything you see in this room to me is worth its weight in gold to me nostalgia wise and it's something we pick up now like it's just because i love it so i mean the prices on some stuff has definitely gone up but looking through this her collection was big but i mean not so big that it's like you know like i i know people who have a bigger rugrats collection than this you know which is still incredible how much they had yeah but she wrote this in 1998 so maybe her collection's even bigger now you know? Especially with all the new stuff that comes out. Yeah, and it has a free admission ticket here for the Rugrats. She has the freaking Mott's. Water I have the containers and the lids, but I don't have it sealed. The actual freaking product. The yep. Mott's watermelon applesauce. She even has a couple of the advertising. says cardboard advertising tag from Walmart. Three to four dollars. I can guarantee it's worth more than that now. Or maybe 10, 20, 30. I have a friend who, who does collecting of Pokemon stuff. And you know, he always talked, he talked to me about some of the stuff he grew up with that was rug Rugrat stuff. And at one point in time, he told me he had a Reptar that he was able to ride on. Like a rideable Reptar wagon. Like a real life rideable Reptar wagon. I looked almost endlessly for about a month trying to find this thing. And I couldn't find anything. So I presumed he may be lying. Or he may have misremembered something or that it's just so rare that it's next to unfindable. I am deploying the rep pack to find this. It does exist. A Reptar ride on vehicle, a full size, your kid can sit on it, rideable Reptar wagon. But now that I know what it's called, Reptar Ride On, that gives me a lot more to go off of. I was just putting in like full size Reptar wagon, real Reptar wagon. This gives us a toy title. One sold in September 23rd for $100, dude. That's. I would have bought it in a heart beat it's missing one of the arms though it's missing one of the arms but that's a pretty big size thing to look for i know you know what as always with these videos they they kind of make it harder on me because now there will probably be other people looking for this very same thing but you know what guys please just if you see <laughs> this come up let me have this let me get this i would buy that all right, let's see here what we got next. We have a Rocket Power coloring book. It says hey. super shiny stickers included. So it also includes some super shiny stickers. Oh, those are very shiny. Those are unbelievable. Jeez. Sunburningly <laughs> shiny. That's unreal. <laughs> They're so shiny, you almost can't even make it out. <laughs> Rocket Power coloring book. We have the SpongeBob saves the day, three in a one. We have Behold No Cavity, SpongeBob goes to the dentist. We have SpongeBob Jungle Trek. Oh, that's a cool SpongeBob book. Oh, SpongeBob. <laughs> we have Rugrats Jungle Trek. <laughs> so to write that time. This copy was only available through distribution of school market. Huh. Yeah. We have Reptar to the rescue. We also have, ah, school lunch with all real monsters. We have, ah, oh, dude. This is like my, my own biography, junk. Sweet junk. <laughs> <laughs> I live for junk. And then I'm Instant. Tommy sometimes. You don't need a burgers. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then next up here, this is a cool Ooh. one, man. We have the SpongeBob SquarePants Essential Guide. I am so curious of what it is. So this is the SpongeBob Exposed book right here. And this again goes through the depths of the show and different information about it. And I recently picked up this book right here. This is the SpongeBob SquarePants Experience. 
and I haven't really had a chance to look through it. I've looked through that one, read the entire thing, but I have not read this one completely yet. And it just kind of starts here and it starts with Bikini Bottom and you go through it. You have some of the early images there and it breaks down the entire show. So I don't know, maybe one day this whole book might be its own video as I go through it kind of like a video directed guide through this entire book. So on that though, I didn't know there was another book that kind of, you know, maybe there's even more stuff that we don't know that's from this book because I learned so much from this book. And this book, I'm undoubtedly going to learn a bunch from too. So now this one, I'm interested to see what's inside of it. I mean, let's take a little peek here. So you have some essential guide stuff there. You have SpongeBob there. You have the character's names. And then it looks like you have some descriptions on the characters, some facts about starfish, a sensitive soul. So it basically gives you a little breakdown Ooh, and a little map here too, which is semi-accurate from what I know. I mean, some of it's very inaccurate, including some things which are like the Fry Cook Museum, which is like literally in one episode. And then the Shady Shoals is not usually on that same pathway. But I mean, it's still just cool to be able to see all the different buildings laid out, but an ideal kind of like hypothetical map there. Oh, Ooh. this is cool. Though. Being able to see it like this, I love this. This little breakdown. It shows the core of his house and how it got made with the seed. I always assumed that this right here was like his basement, but it looks like it's in between the two here. If that's accurate, that would mean that, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes kind of sense because you just it's just sand. I always assumed it was like underground. I think in the Battle for Bikini Bottom video game, it might be underground. But you have his library here and also his room here and then the rooftop as well too, the rooftop terrace. So it does say that it has a, uh, a terrace up there as well too. So that's just cool to see that breakdown of it. I would love that as like a little poster. I'll be taking a look at that one too and I'll be adding that to my uh, guides, my Spongebob guidebooks to just kind of break down information. For me as a content that I create on this channel in particular, these are like my, uh, my dictionary slash Bibles, you know? So I'm glad to add that book to the collection. And on that note, that is it. So we have some, a bunch of packages that we're gonna be unboxing again towards closer to the Nickmas day. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to see what Mitchell got. I can't wait to see what Karina got and I can't wait to open up mine as well too. It's gonna be a blast. And thank you so much to, again to Don Taylor and Baby Don for making this video possible. Make sure you guys leave them a comment down below. I would greatly appreciate that. Again, if you guys ever wanna send something in the mail, the address is on screen right here for you. Send us a note, send us some drawings, whatever you wanna send, that address is right here on screen. Stay tuned, we're gonna add a bunch of different items here to the collection, you guys already know. But before that, you know the drill. Stan it! So we have the labels of all of Don T-Dogs and Baby Don stuff here on the table. You guys can see all the stuff we're gonna be adding to the collection and some of the stuff we're gonna be adding here to the cavern right now. But on the bottom here, you'll see it is labeled Don, T-Dog, and Baby Don. We have Baby Don on the labels now officially as well. So you have all three of them on that one. You'll see the labels on a bunch of different items here as we go through them. Even the VHSs, we have their labels on them. So shout out to Don Taylor and also Baby Don. Thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and start adding some of this stuff. Okay, so right here we have the Nickelodeon clock. This thing is amazing, but I wanted to put it with the Nick Let's Just Play hat, so we me back it up a little bit here. You can see that is freaking adorable. It's got a little <laughs> cover on top of it, so we put the Let's Just Play hat on the clock for the ultimate Nickelodeon exclusive combo there. Okay, so for the SpongeBob Gold, I added him right here. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna stay there just because it's kind of a big box and it's like a little squeezed in there but I wanted to give him a little bit of time to be represented here so I have him here in the gold section like I said we might need to just give it gold its own little like cubicle or something but I kind of just like having it in the background there so that got added to it and we kind of unified everything here we brought Tommy upstairs kind of just upgrading the center shelf more and more and more thanks to the legends Don and T-Dog okay and for cat dog I decided to add them with all of our other cat dogs I think they look perfect there a nice little update and add Added finally some vintage vibe to the little section here. Arnold, I added him over here on top of Ren's toothbrush holder. I think it looks really cool there, him just kind of plastered on top. And for the big box PC games, I added up here onto our game collection where we're trying to slowly add up just about every Nickelodeon game ever. And for the time being, I put the Fairly Odd Parents toothbrush here in the Fairly Odd Parents section. Just so, like I said, we get a nice little look at it. Don't know if it'll fit in that place permanently, but just at least for right now, because I just like looking at it. 
it. Okay, and on our filing cabinet here, we have a bunch of different Nickelodeon magnets, including some even here on the side. So we're gonna add this one right over. Actually, let's put it right here. We're gonna add him right there to cover that little uh, spot right here for a, for a label. We're gonna put him right there. So we got Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy on the filing cabinet. So one thing we don't see a lot of is Nickelodeon magnets. We find them every now and then, but for the most part, they're few and far between, it seems like. But I'm sure there's a lot out there. And for the beautiful wobbling SpongeBob, we added him right here. Next to some of our other Spongebob wobblers. This guy does not wobble very much, but he is a wobbler. Okay, so I added Mr. Krabs right under here next to Squidward. This is where we keep our versus wheel. And again, huge shout out to Amber Case who sent this one in. I just think these two look amazing. I love this set now, especially now that there's two of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> they look great. So next we need to try to get the Patrick and then the Spongebob or whichever order it makes the boxes stack the best. But huge shout out to Don T Dog and also Amber Case for the two additions here. The carrying bags, we will definitely be needing these. And I'm gonna have a few more we're gonna put in here because we've been needing more and more bags. So I'm gonna add that inside of the Nickelodeon bag is the ultimate carrying bag and our smaller bags within that bag. And for the SpongeBob movie, I'm gonna be putting this guy on display with the movie shelf once the Nickmas tree is moved. But I'm actually gonna be taking this inside the house because I'm gonna be watching this movie tonight on VHS. I can't wait. <laughs> it made me so pumped. Thank you again to Don and T-Dog and Baby Don, you made my night. This is the folder where we're keeping the Nick Greets cards as we slowly get this collection. I have space for the rest of them too. So we have these two pogs. I didn't know exactly where to put them, but I wanna make sure they stay safe. So I'm putting them inside of the card binder here next to these avatar stickers. Okay, and we added some beautiful ornaments to the Nick mystery. We have the SpongeBob here. And of course you guys know we have the prototype of that one. So I put the prototype into the box. It looks so clean like that. So what I'm gonna do is before Nickmas is over, I'm gonna buy another one of this. So that way I can put this one back in its box and we'll have the prototype right next to final product. And this still has all of its information on there as well too. So I think it looks epic having a case around it too. And it makes it a lot more safe inside there. And then we got Jimmy. Finally some Jimmy representation here next to Cosmo and Chucky. And we got these SpongeBob and Patrick right down here. I tried to put them over here in the background, but they wouldn't quite sit straight without having a tree to kind of support them. So I put the blow mold SpongeBob back here to our little uh, row here. And along with that, you'll see we have the SpongeBob piece right there. And I am gonna be gluing his foot back together as well so I put that right next to it but that sits just like that I do prefer the method they went with on the Spongebob one because it lets you actually set it completely flat there and then this comes out over the shelf the Rugrats one gives me so much anxiety because <laughs> it's so adorable but like so little of it actually sits on the shelf and then the pole is just kind of right there so I'm probably gonna add at least a little tiny bit of double-sided tape onto the other side just to make sure it stays there nice and sturdy but but my goodness, that is gonna be one of the most adorable or Christmas ornaments ever. For our Archives Collector Series, I put this right here, just for we can use it as reference, and just because it looks really cool, just kind of chill in there. So that'll go there, but the rest of the books, let's go ahead and add those in. So Barnyard, of course, we're adding with our movie series books here, like Jimmy Neutron, so that's going back in here. Okay, and for the new editions, we have the two Rugrats books, including Perfect Picture Tommy, and also Junk Sweet Junk. And for the Rugrats files, we're gonna put this here. Ah, school lunch is going right here. And Reptar to the Rescue, I think this copy might be a little bit better than the one that we currently have. So we're gonna make that little upgrade exchange here like we do. This one's gonna be going in and this one's coming out. As always, it's about preservation and keeping the best one possible in the best shape possible. And this one does that a little bit better. And for the Rugrats Collectibles book, this isn't a licensed Nickelodeon book, hence the name, an unauthorized guide. But I do wanna have this one accessible, so I'm just gonna toss it up here so I can take a look at it for right now but it probably won't be going in the library exactly being that it's not licensed and we're just trying to keep everything in here for the most part as official as we possibly can but I do love the fact that this book was even made. Pineapple bar with pineapple bits. I mostly just said that because I wanted to successfully say it. Let's go ahead and add that here in our expanded food bowl. Okay, that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, <laughs> make sure you guys hit the... Why are you so high? <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, so you guys do not miss the next video. Make sure again, you leave a nice comment down below for Don T Dog and Baby Don for supporting this channel and for also sending this in so we can make this video. If you guys want to support the show further, you can always go check out the Patreon as well. You'll be getting an extended version of this video, and you can now join and support the show for only two dollars a month. Huge shout out to the big Patreons of the month in the rep pack. Royalty. Shout out to Taz Watsky. Shout out to Storm X Quick. Shout out to List of Legends. Shout out to Prismatic Phantom. Yanis Torres. It's Big Little. Kevin Nguyen. Later. A Castle. Real Queen G. Gabriella. And also Don the Whale. Thank you guys so much for making everything that we do here possible. We appreciate you guys and have so much love for everything you guys do. And the fan mail address is on screen. If you ever want to send any kind of letters, fan art, whatever you'd like, that address is on screen. Don't forget we're on Whatnot every single Friday and you get 15 bucks for free when you sign up. And we're doing giveaways over there every week, including the ornaments that I showed you guys today. We're going to be giving away four different Rugrats ornaments that are brand new, courtesy of Don and T-Dog. So if you guys want to be a part of that, go sign up. It's absolutely free to sign up. And there's so many different things you can pick up on Whatnot to add to your collection. And it supports the show. Too. I'll see you guys in this video over here that I know you're gonna love but as always rep pack I'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios and